Big Short obviously is based on a book, and you've done several movies that are based on books. So how does working with source material impact the way you approach your character, and also what are the advantages and challenges of having source material to work with? Um, well, you know, this was a uh, this is a this was a this was a bear of a of a book to tackle, you know, mm -hmm. and it, I think it took I, I don't know who could have done it other than McKay, mm -hmm. because well, first of all, he he's he's wildly passionate about it, you know. E e even now, he's still just he, he's he's he's. He's he's so passionate about it, and yet he's also you know so smart. And then at the same time, he has this great quality of being able to be outraged but not lose his sense of humor. You know, he's not blinded by his anger. He can still be objective and see what's funny about it. And so the movie becomes, um, I think, really unique in the end. You know, under his hand. Yeah. But starting with it, the book is incredible, and Michael Lewis is such a great writer. And you know, it's, people have been asking, you know, like Michael, what, why do you think your books make such good films and for me it seems like kind of obvious because even though the worlds he tries to tackle are so complicated he's he 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 has such a nose for great characters you know and this this film is filled with them how much did you know about the global housing crisis before you made this film and and how did it change your perception of the big short after you made it I think I'm, I'm gonna have to side with what I imagine is most of the audience on this one, which is that I guess I thought I knew, but I really had no idea. And I, on some level, thought, oh, this is just something that I, I'm probably not gonna, I'm not gonna get, you know. But the movie takes the position that, that this, the language of this world is intentionally alienating. It's, it's meant to make you feel stupid, so you don't ask <laughs> questions, so they can just do whatever they want and. I think that once you know the, it's presented to you that way, you know it sort of like cracks it open, and 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 uh, and it and it they they present it in a way in this film that that does make it very accessible, and uh, you know it's it's that's you know that's a feat in and of itself. Yeah. Films that explore greed and corruption have been done before, but this feels really fresh and really unique, and like nothing we've ever seen before. Why do you think that is? What is it about The Big Short that makes it different from other similarly themed films? I think it's Adam McKay, you know? It just speaks to what kind of person he is, you know? There's nothing judgmental about the movie. I mean, it's not, not to the audience. There's nothing sort of, there's no, uh, in my opinion, there's no soapbox involved. There's no, uh, um, like grandstanding, there's no like lording around of all this knowledge. None of it is made, all of it, everything that's in the film and it's packed filled with its own style. All of those things are there to try and help you understand and to keep you engaged. And so, I don't know, I, I think that that's, you know, uh, that's, that's, that's part of why it's so unique. <laughs>